Chef Osman here at Mall of America with Alfonso Ribeiro. Have you ever been to Mall of America before today? Uh, I've never been. I've been to Minnesota many a times, but I've never been to the mall itself. Like, I pretty much try to do everything I can and never be in a mall. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, it, it's, it, it, I don't like spending money that much. Understood. Right? And Understood. so I let, I let my wife go and shop. So she's been here more than I have. So, and you could get spotted at the mall. So that's, that's another thing. And there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> It's a big place. <laughs> you show up here today, you're walking up, maybe coming up the escalator. I don't know if they took you through a separate elevator. I got to come up the back, which is good. Okay, so yes. no one, what have people been yelling to you as they see you walking? Well, the, the, the typical, Carlton, you know, <laughs> do the dance. Those are those are typically the two that I always get. How much do you get asked to do the dance? Every day of my life. If I leave my house, <laughs> if I leave my house and I'm amongst people, somebody is going to ask me to dance for them. Do you get sick of it? I, I I was sick of it maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> but in that so, in that people are asking me to dance. Like I'm always like, you realize I'm not gonna actually dance for you. You realize that you're a character. Like that was a a role, and I'm not gonna On just be everywhere like at a mall just dancing for no reason. Yes. Now Carlton <laughs> in the show was not an athlete. No. Okay. Outside <laughs> of the show, are you an athlete? I I think of myself as, okay. as an athlete. You know, I play a little b ball and. Uh, but may, mo mostly my game is golf. I'm a, I'm a scratch golfer. Uh, so, you know, I shoot low 70s, high 60s every once in a while. Uh, so, you know, golf is my game. I don't know if we want to consider it a sport. Sport. Um, but I also used to race cars professionally, which is a sport. Um, and you've so, got to be in good shape to, uh, to race. And so I used to race formula cars. So, um, you know, athletic in, in my own way. When did you get into golf? Was this a childhood thing or a... I, I, I got into golf as a, as a young man. I was 18 the first time I hit a golf ball, but uh, I was able to hit the ball far right from the very beginning. I had no idea where it was going, and so I had to learn where to hit it, but, but I was always able to hit it a long ways. Um, and then I got serious about the game and you know took the right lessons and learned how to hit it where I want to hit it. Yeah, so you were in the Celebrity Tournament in Tahoe recently? Yes, yep, yep, yep. So when you're around those guys, a lot of them former professional athletes. Absolutely. Are you better than them? Um, I'm, better than, I'm better than more than half the field. Like, I typically place in the top 25% uh, of that field every year. Uh, so, uh, you know, really well. And then, like, even next week, I'm going to be playing uh, at Pebble Beach up at the AT&T, uh, you know, Pro-Am. So, you know, I get to play in those, and um, I will be one of the lower handicap guys nice. um, in that field. So it's harder to make the cut being a low handicap guy in that, in that format. But, you know, um, I just I love the game. Athletes and celebrities, you play with a lot of them. Who's who's even better than you? Who's uh, the well, most impressive? There's a few that are better. You know, obviously, most of them are are athletes. Uh, How about celebrities? You know, I think the in terms of like the actor mm -hmm. um, celebrity. Justin Timberlake. Uh, I play with Justin all the time. I'm a lower handicap than Justin. Okay. Uh, you know, but he's sometimes busier than me, so I get it. Um, You're not going to be up on and, that, the halftime I'm not going to be. A, no, I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him do this this year. <laughs> um, but like. Uh, Jack Wagner would be probably the all-time best actor golfer, but he was on like his college team, and so I mean he, you know, played it uh, as a as a young man. Uh, and but like even today, he's still probably the best actor golfer. Do you play Bel Air Country Club a lot? I do not. Uh, I'm a member of a place called Lakeside, uh, but I I've, I've played brand. it. I, I've, but it was kind of one of those like I can't join Bel Air. It just doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I can't be. Rolling around Bel Air Country Club, it was just it, it's 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 too right on point. If you were doing the Carlton <laughs> at Bel Air Country Club, you would yeah, just be would, walking. It, you, would, it, you wouldn't it, sure, it, be sure if you're your character. Yeah, is it real? Is it fake? Where, where are we at? We want to be in the real world. The real world, I play it at uh, Lakeside. A lot of athletes came through Fresh Prince of Bel Air as guest stars. Yeah. Is there anyone that stood out that that maybe you were starstruck by, or just you had a fun experience? I with? think most of them that came through, I always felt like you know, in awe of, you know. Um, one, we had Ken Griffey Jr. on, and uh, at the time, I mean, Ken was probably the the best baseball player, you know, playing the game at the time. Um, and to have him on the show was was pretty pretty cool back then. You mentioned being a basketball guy. Isaiah Thomas, yep. I believe, was on yep. that Yep, yep, Isaiah was on. Did you anything? He, he didn't teach me much, but, you know, because typically, you know, they, they come in and they go quickly. But, uh, but yeah, he, uh, he was pretty cool, you know, obviously a, a living legend. Uh, in the in the basketball game and and uh, you know so I've I've known a bunch of the the players and it's it's uh, it's very cool. The light turns off. Better athlete, you or Will Smith? Will Smith. Still, still. Will Smith. Yeah, well, you know, at different things, right? You got the hand -eye like coordination. I got the hand-eye coordination. He has size, 
right? So if we're playing basketball, I can't beat him because he just he's bigger than me. Um, but I'm, I'm, but I can beat him at golf. Um, you know, definitely, probably it was a better baseball player. Uh, but he he was a good basketball player. Do you guys ever play golf outside of? Oh yeah, absolutely. Golf? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, you know, he. he I play golf. He hits. He hits golf balls sometimes. <laughs> he's got to hit it. He's got to have some distance on his shot, right? He can hit it far, but if, you know the game isn't just about you know a long drive contest is fun, but it's about getting in the hole and the least amount of shots. And and the most consistent player uh, is always the best player. So uh, you know he he also works a lot, so he, does he doesn't have the, the the same amount of time. And you are working today here at the Super Bowl. We're at the Super Bowl. Yes, we are. We're at the Super Bowl. Mall of America. Very cool. You are working with Tostitos. What yeah. Are you with them? Well, we, we, uh, we, we partnered up, and they have a very cool thing. Tostitos is all about bringing people together, right? Sure. They're obviously dip. the chip and dip of the Super Bowl, the official uh, chip and dip. And they created an ad, right? So normally, everybody does one ad, and you run a commercial during the Super Bowl. They created ads for all. So if you're having a Super Bowl party, mm -hmm. you're able to go to Tostitos com and create an epic Super Bowl ad for your Super Bowl party and all you had to do was go on and basically punch in your name the address and the start time and then they took famous scenes from a lot of Super Bowl ads and recreated them in a fun way so that you can mix and match whatever you wanted for your own epic Super Bowl ad